For tonight's prayer cast, I thought it would be important to take time to remember Ahmad Arbery. It has been a difficult week for our country as we've heard the news and the videos have been released about his murder, but we know that it's been an incredibly difficult two months for his family. And so as we take a moment to remember and honor his life, I wanted to share with you a book that's called The Beatitudes, From Slavery to Civil Rights. And it was written by Carol Boston Weatherford and illustrated by Tim Ladwig. It's one of these books that is a children's book, which isn't just a children's book. It is written from God's perspective. I am the Lord your God. I was with the Africans who were torn from the motherland and cramped in holds of ships on the middle passage from Africa to the Americas. I heard them chant, Kumbaya, Kumbaya. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. I was with Richard Allen, Absalom Jones, and James Varick, who founded churches where African Americans could praise the Lord and shout, Hallelujah. I rang the church bells. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. I was with Harriet Tubman when she fled slavery as she led others out of bondage I was the star guiding them north. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. I was with the U.S. colored troops who fought to end slavery during the Civil War. I beat the drum for freedom. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. I was with Booker T. Washington and Mary McLeod Bethune, who built colleges and lit the way for young minds. I was the lamp. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. I was with Marian Anderson when she sang spirituals on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial after the Daughters of the American Revolution barred her from performing in their concert hall. I was the microphone. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I was with Rosa Parks when she was arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white man on a Montgomery City bus. And I was with the citizens who walked rather than ride buses during the boycott. I was their shoes. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. I was with the mother of 14 year old lynching victim Emmett Till as she stood at his casket sobbing. I was the shoulder she leaned on. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I was on the freedom rides and at the lunch counter sit-ins. I sat along the protesters. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you. I was with Martin, Martin Luther King Jr. when he shared his dream of brotherhood at the March on Washington. And when peaceful protesters in the Selma to Montgomery March were beaten by police on an Alabama bridge, I nursed the wounded. I was with six-year-old Ruby Bridges when angry whites heckled her as she entered an all-white elementary school to become its first black student. I held her hand. You were persecuted falsely for my sake, 
Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. I was with Mississippi political organizer Fannie Lou Hamer when she got sick and tired of being sick and tired and demanded the right to vote. When she breathed song into the struggle, I shook the tambourine. Remember, they persecuted even Jesus. I was with Barack Obama when he took his oath as President of the United States. I was the Bible where he placed his hand. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I was with your ancestors and I will be with your offspring, standing on the side of justice. Even now I am with the downtrodden and with those who seek uplift. I am holy water in the stream of humanity. Drink, bathe, and be free. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Let us pray. God of life, we pray that you would pour out your mercy upon us that you would hold us up to the expectations you have for us to live in peace, to be people of peace. So may, even in this time of lockdown, may we raise our voices for justice, justice for the life of Ahmad Arbery. And on this weekend, the weekend that spans both his birthday and Mother's Day. We pray that you would comfort those who mourn, most especially his family, most especially his mother. God, we pray for your mercy upon us. Help us to do better than we have done. Help us to uphold the lives of all black people, and especially young black men. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen.